Hey guys, welcome to another Silhouette Sunday video. Today's video is actually going to be really quick because I'm just answering a question that was left on another video. Um, and the question basically was, is there any way to save things you find on the internet to your library as a color thumbnail? Which technically, yes, it can be done, but it's not exactly... It's not exactly worth it to me personally, but if you want to know how to do it, I'm going to show you how. So for those of you who don't know, if you find an image on the internet that you open up, there is an option in the save menu. So you go to file, save as, and then it says save to library. Now, when you save your images to the library, what's going to end up happening is you're going to get things that kind of look like this where they're just outlines. They're not nice colored images like this for the most part that you get from the actual Silhouette Store because Silhouette Store thumbnails look like this. They're in color. So if you wanted one, one in color, what you would do is open it. And since I don't have one from the internet to open, I'm going to open an existing file. So I'll just use these butterflies. And they'll load on your screen just like this if you download it from the internet. It'll be whatever line color the artist set it to. But anywho, you're going to take it and select the shape, go up to the bucket at the top, and you're going to fill it with a color. So for the sake of this video, I'll fill one with pink, and then I'll fill one with blue. So now when I go, my cut line is still there, but now it has a fill color. So now when I go to File, Save As, and Save to my library, I'll get the same dialog box as usual asking me to edit the property. So I'll give it the name Colored Butterfly. And then I can give it keywords and I can tell it whether or not it's a print and cut or whatnot. And then close this. And now it'll populate in my library. So you can see here it's a colored image now. So I hope that answers your question about saving um, colored images into the library. I apologize because I can't find the comment where I was initially asked this question and I can't remember the lady's name, so I'm sorry. But anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them for me in the comment section. And thanks for watching.